Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the C++ link library to filter all the elements of an array that fill a given criteria. In our use case we are basically uh, going to do a very simple example where we want to obtain all the even elements of an array. So we are going to be using in this in this demo um, as target board an ASP32 Firebit board from the Afrobot. Nonetheless, this um, this code will also work on the ASP8266 since C++ Link is a generic library uh, for the C++ language, and basically you can import it as an Arduino uh, library, and we can use it both for ASP32 or the ASP8266. So we are going to start by including the C++ Link library as you can see here in the first line. And then we are going to declare the using of the C++ link namespace so we avoid the use of the scope resolution operator every time we want to access a functionality from this namespace. So moving on to the setup function, we are going to start by opening a serial connection so we can output the results of our program. Followed by that, we are going to define an array of integers. This will be the base array that we are going to filter to obtain only the even elements. So as you can see here, we have an array that has both odd and even elements. And at the end, we want to obtain only the even elements of this array. And for that effect, as I've already mentioned, we are going to use C++ link. So moving on, we are going to start uh, to write our expression tree that will be uh, responsible for doing all, all of this procedure and at the end we should all, all only have the even elements. So like we have covered in previous tutorials, the first thing we need to do is converting our array uh, to a range object in order for us to be able to apply the C++ link operators. So this is done with a call to this from array function, which receives as input uh, our array. In this case, it's an array of integers, but it could be, for example, an array of objects or something uh, different. But in our case, it will be this array of integers. And as output, this method will return the range object. Uh, over this range object, we are going to be able to uh, uh, apply the C++ link operator, which is called where. Okay, this where operator allows us to do precisely what we have said, uh, which is filtering the, the, the range object according to a given criteria. As input of this where operator, we need to pass a function, and that function will be basically executed by each element of our range, um, and it needs to return either true or false, indicating if, our, if that particular element fills our filtering criteria, okay? In our case, uh, since we are trying to obtain all the even elements of the array, um, this function will be applied by each element, and for that element we need to return true if it is an even element, if it is, a, if it is an even number, and we should return false uh, if it is an odd number. Okay. So in terms of syntax, let me just say that we are going, instead of defining a named function, uh, it's very common to, to for, for keeping the code short to use this lambda syntax when we are working with, uh, with C++ link. So we are going to specify our function using the C++ lambda syntax, uh, which pretty much allows us to define uh, an anonymous function. So, starting from the beginning, these two empty square brackets are the captures of the function. We are not going to make use of them. It's just a functionality from the lambda syntax that we don't need to, um, to use, but we still need to put here these empty brackets. After that, here in parentheses, we need to specify uh, the parameters of our function. In our case, uh, as I've already said, this function will be executed by each element of our uh, original array that is now a range object, but in essence it will be executed by each original element, which means that our function will, re will receive an integer. So each element is an integer, and as you can see here, uh, our parameter is also an integer. Then uh, the body of our function uh, pretty much needs to implement our criteria, which is returning true in case the element is even and false in case the element is odd. And it's very simple to, to do that. Uh, so basically, if the reminder um, of the division by 2 is 0, it means that our element is even. Otherwise, it means that our, our element is odd. So this is the condition, uh, the filtering condition that we want to apply. And obviously, we return the result, which is going to be a Boolean, uh, like our function needs to, to do. Note that we don't need to explicitly say what is the return type of our uh, lambda function, because the compiler will infer that for us. Uh, obviously, it's a Boolean, like I've already said. So again, 
just as a reminder, uh, this is our, our function, our, uh, the function that implements our filtering criteria, and it is implemented for simplicity uh, with the C++ Lambda syntax. But to recap, it receives an integer, it checks if that integer is even or odd, and returns a Boolean value accordingly, and then uh, the where operator makes sure that only the elements that are even, because uh, these are the elements that this function will return true, only those elements will end uh, in the resulting range. So, just also to add here this detail, uh, basically this, this, um, this operator is the one that we use in order to chain the C++ link operators, okay? Uh, so we first converted our integer array to a range, then we use this operator to chain the next, the next call uh, to the where operator. So at this stage, after executing these two operations, we have a range that only contains the even elements. Nonetheless, uh, we need to convert this range back to, we could naturally apply other C++ link operators, but in this case, we don't want to. Uh, in, in our case, we want to get it to a data type that we can iterate so we can print um, the results of our operation. In our case, we can do this very simply. Uh, C++ link uh, offers this operator here called toVector, which basically will convert uh, a range object to a vector, uh, to a C++ vector that we can easily iterate and then print each element um, to know the final result. So to sum up, we convert to a range object here with this first line, sorry, this one. Then we apply the where operator where we specify our filtering criteria and we get uh, a, a new range with all uh, the elements that filter that criteria and then we convert it to a C++ uh, vector so we can iterate over each element and print its value. We are storing here the result in this variable. Note the, the use of this keyword auto. So this is just uh, to make our life easier so we don't need to be writing the whole uh, the whole uh, declaration of the data type, which is a vector, vector of integers. Uh, this auto keyword helps a lot because the compiler will infer for us the return type. Some people are not big fans of this because you don't explicitly uh, indicate the, the, the data type. Uh, others like it because uh, you don't need to be worrying about typing uh, the whole data type every time. We are not here uh, evaluating that, so basically this is just uh, um, to facilitate and to keep the code short, but obviously if you prefer you can declare uh, the whole returning type here uh, when you are specifying the variable. So moving on, we are going to iterate through our uh, through our vector, okay, so we can get the size of, of this vector with a call to this method and then uh, we can iterate it with uh, over each element of the vector and print the value of each element just here using the square brackets, okay, like we would access a normal array. So we are basically printing each element of, of uh, our vector. And then we are for just for readability, we are printing here a separator uh, character uh, just to make make it easier to see all the elements of our uh, result. So and this is it, very simple. As you can see here, let me uh, just uh, say that obviously we are tackling a very simple use case where we, we are filtering an array of, of integers, but C++ is actually very, C++ link is actually very, um, very powerful. So instead of being uh, iterating over an array of integers, we could have been iterating over an array of objects uh, where we could be uh, doing uh, filtering criteria over um, attributes of, of those objects. Uh, and I believe this is where this, um, this library is very useful and, and the, where it shines and it can really make our programs much more simpler to read and simpler to understand. So I've already uploaded this code to my SP32. Uh, as you can see, it already ran, but let me reset the device so we can see it running again. Okay, just one minute because I'm having some problems running it. I'll need to restart here the serial monitor. Okay, let me see, serial monitor. Okay, now I'll be able to reset it. Okay, here it is. So as you can see here, uh, we have obtained the, the even elements of our array, 4, 8, 14, and 30. Let's confirm. So we have here 4, okay, 8. We have here 14 and 30. Those are the only even elements of our array. And as expected, uh, we have obtained them 
uh, at the end as a vector, uh, but it's easy to perform the conversion or use other data types if you prefer. Um, and this is it. Uh, hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching.